Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and welcome to week two of Mary Maker's Christmas Craft Collaboration. My name is Lynn and I'm really excited because this week we are sharing tags, ATCs, embellishments, and ornaments. And when I saw that this was our week two theme, I was super jazzed because the masterclass that Yvette taught was all about making tags for the holidays. And so what I thought I would do is um, take some inspiration from Yvette and I pulled out my Easy Wonder dies and I'll be making three tags featuring some of these cute little critters from Not Too Shabby. This is called Frosty Friends. I've already colored them up with color pencil and I've actually um, even cut out a lot of my pieces already. So I actually used the add-on to Easy Wonder um, die number one. And that way I have a nice wide border all the way around. And what I want to do is I really like the professional edge with the stitch border detailing that these dies put in. So I'm actually going to um, put a second layer on the back even though this is double-sided pattern paper it's just that the back of a die cut is not quite as uh, refined as the top so I'm going to back these and then also that way I can um, have a nice finish on both sides I'm going to put a little bit of white uh, cardstock here also cut with one of the Easy Wonder add-on dies and that's where I'm going to stamp my to and from. So I've got that all prepared. And so these are going to be really, really fast to assemble because I did already choose all of my pattern papers. I have everything ready to go. It's just going to be a quick matter of gluing them down. And that's one of the nice things about a project like uh, ATCs or uh, tags they are small canvases so <laughs> they're really easy and fast projects to create and these would make um, really nice ornaments too that taught as part of that same master class how to make some really cute ornaments which um, which I thought was really fun she even she made hers a photo ornament which is really neat. Um, that would be really awesome for maybe a baby's first Christmas. They get their own little ornament on the Christmas tree. That would be really cute. Okay, so I've got all my layers there and that's basically one complete and then I'll punch a hole at the top. Uh, I want to stamp this before I glue it on but let's um, get the next set ready. And I think really coloring these up probably is the part that took the longest. So if you're not familiar or you missed uh, last week's post, the Merry Makers Christmas Collaboration is a really fun group of designers who are getting together to share a lot of different Christmas makes and what's really fun about this collaboration is it's four weeks long and each week we have a different design brief that way you can see a variety of different types of projects so last um, week was journaling and um, and I shared my DIY modular planner, which I have a master class coming up. So if you want to check that out and all of the other uh, inspiration projects from last week, you can actually expand the description box below and you'll find a playlist where all of um, those videos will be collected. And same with all of this week's videos. So the nice thing about this is that all four weeks of this collaboration they're all going on to a single playlist and that way if you're looking for a boatload of Christmas inspiration or holiday inspiration 
you can find them all in one spot. And the beauty of the playlist is that if you are not sitting down to watch all of these videos back to back, which it's a lot of videos, so totally understandable if you're not um, binge watching them. But playlists are really nice because since they're all on one playlist, it makes it really easy to kind of see where you left off and um, if you need to take a break, it'll be really easy to come back to the videos once you're ready. Uh, the tricky thing about this is just making sure that if you have directional papers that you've got it facing the right way. I think I have it about right. Um, okay, so that's that's three tags almost ready to go. I just need to stamp the to and the from. And I think I want to space these out a little bit better. So this one needs to be stamped diagonal. That one's a square and that one's a triangle. So I wanted to try to create different shaped tags. Um, these would be really fun to maybe if you give um, gifts in maybe a gift bag, it would be really easy to hang these off of a gift bag and maybe something like that. I think that's pretty good spacing. And you can see how fast these come together. I mean, the coloring did take some time. That's why I did it in advance. But <laughs> once your image is all colored up, the assembly of the tags can be pretty fast. What I like to do sometimes is just color in front of the TV. <laughs> and <laughs> that way I can kind of listen to something watch something while I do my coloring. Okay. There's that. And the two from stamp also part of this stamp set. So kind of perfect for this project. And Last one. Okay. And this is Versafine, so I'm gonna set these aside so that I don't accidentally smudge them. Give them a little bit of time to dry. And then what I'll do is punch a hole. So I'm gonna use my Big Bite because this one in particular, I think it's going to end up going through three layers of cardstock. And the Big Bite can definitely do that, no problem. So. And you know, these would be pretty cute as ornaments too. They're kind of big as a tag, but I think they'll work either way. And this one, let's see. I think this, I might want the hole to be kind of on the border there. Okay, and then this one. Maybe something down there. Okay. Just like that, almost done now for a bit of ribbon. So I think for this one, I'll use a nice dark blue. I like to put a little bit of fray check on the ends so that it doesn't, it doesn't uh, fray kind of has a has the effect of sort of sealing that other folks um have said that they just take a flame to it and that sort of melts it a little bit and does the same thing so i think 
this was good for this tag. And if you were doing this, uh, making this as an ornament, which I think would be super cute, you would probably have a, a longer stretch of ribbon so that you can actually do a second knot. And that way you have something to hang this by. But look at that. So cute. Now for these ones, I wish I had some pink ribbon. I don't have pink, so I thought maybe I would use... Um, I could use the blue, I guess. I can either use the blue or the cream. Um, I just feel like the blue's not a lot of contrast against the front of the tag, but it's not bad actually. So we'll go with it. You don't really need a lot of this, and you can find Frey Check in Sewing and Notions section of the of a hobby store or craft store. And there's that. If you have been enjoying this hop, I hope you'll um, subscribe to everybody's channels and leave a like and leave a comment on the videos. It really helps um, every channel grow that engagement. So really appreciate everybody who's watching and who subscribes and all of the YouTube things. Oh, I feel like this one's short. Maybe I'll switch it with this one. Oh, it just seems like that. <laughs> they actually did a pretty good job of making them the same length. <laughs> this one feels a little bit short because it's it's a little bit further from the corner, which I didn't think about when I this but I think it'll be okay oh that's kind of cute oh I like that all right so once our ribbon is in then I can actually attach the to and the from the back And I went with a small white square because I want more of the pattern paper to be visible. I figure you don't really need a ton of room to write a couple names on here. So <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather see more of that decorative pattern paper than just have a big white square in the middle there. So this these pattern papers are gorgeous. They are also from Not Too Shabby. It's from uh, this month's box of the month and it's actually Frosted Bliss which is gorgeous. It's really nice because you can really use these for, in general, winter. It doesn't have to be Christmas per se, but it can be. So. And then there's uh, a lot of prints here that are sort of general purpose. You can kind of use them any time of year, which I also really love. All right. So there are my three tags completed. 
really fun, quick project. It's really nice to um, be able to make your own tags and they're really cute. And that way people, if they wanted to keep them, they could. They could um, hang it on a tree if they wanted. They could tie an extra little loop at the top here and maybe just keep it and hang it on their tree for, uh, for that year. So really, really cute, fast and fun project. I hope you'll continue hopping. Expand the description box below. You'll see all of the contributors who are participating in this collaboration and do check out that playlist for tons of ideas. If you missed last week's inspirations, all of those videos will be on the playlist as well. And I hope you'll join us next week when we share with you Christmas cards and holiday cards. So I'll see you again next week for another Merry Makers Christmas Craft collaboration video. Thanks again and hope you have a fabulous day. Bye!